For today's video, we're going to get some gameplay with the new Lost in Transit Beta Storm mission. And for this one, you'll have 15 minutes to rescue 5 trucks and update their GPSs to send them on their way. Some of those trucks will be surrounded by the enemy and others will be under attack or need refueling. Most of the area is going to be covered in a storm and the safe area is going to move. So for this new beta storm, you'll have to rescue all of the trucks and then survive the storm until evacuation. Before we actually start the mission, there were a couple of things I wanted to point out in regards to today's patch. And I'll leave a link to the patch notes in the description. The first thing I want to point out is that the new legendary constructor will be available in the event store later on tonight. And his name is Bomb Squad Kyle. His standard perk will increase your armor by 22. And his commander perk is going to increase your armor by 66. Like I said, he is legendary, so I assume he's going to cost 2800 gold. There's also going to be a new steampunk shotgun added to the weekly store later tonight. And this new shotgun is called Double Boiler. And the description that came with it says that it fires two slugs with medium accuracy and range. But it has a reduced ammo capacity and a longer reload time. And I assume this is going to cost 1680 gold. But let me know out of these two, which one you all would like to see gameplay of first. Either the Double Boiler steampunk shotgun or Bomb Squad Kyle. And the last thing I wanted to mention is the Eliminate and Collect mission is now in the normal mission rotation. And this is what it looks like. It sort of has like a little target symbol. They did make some changes in between this one and the Beta Storm version. They added three new possible bonus objectives where you have to either get kills with sniper rifles, melee weapons, or traps. Random encounters now start sooner and have less time between them. And once the storm reaches its smallest point, the encounters become much stronger. And they also changed the amount of samples you're going to have to collect. In Stonewood, you'll still have to get 15 samples. In Plankerton, you're going to have to get 20. In Candy Valley, you'll have to get 25. And in Twine Peaks, you'll have to get 30. So it sounds like it's going to be a little bit more difficult than the Beta Storm version. If you all would like to see gameplay of this new Eliminate and Collect mission, let me know in the comments below. There are also a bunch of bug fixes, most of which I'm not going to go over. One thing I did want to point out is that supposedly they did fix the Deliver the Bomb missions. They also fixed Ventura Ramirez's Overbearing perk. They also fixed the sixth perk for the Bundle Bus and Mercury LMG. And there were a bunch of other bug fixes which I'm not going to go over. But again, I will leave a link to the patch notes in the description for those who want to go check them out. And here's the loadout that we're going to use. I also wanted to test out the Overbearing Commander perk and see how that performs after today's patch. We're also going to use Bio Energy Source because I don't have a whole lot of shield with our current loadout. And here are all of the support team perks that we're going to use with this loadout. But yeah, we're going to be doing this level 100 Lost in Transit. And we're also going to try it solo. Alright, so on the loading screen, it says find the supply trucks. You only have 15 minutes. Clear the area. Husk want the supplies for themselves. And update Seabot's GPS. Relaunch the trucks. Ray, is there something wrong with the supply truck fleet AI? It uh, crunched the numbers and sided with the storm. Who's driving the supply fleet? You know, a bit of Locke, a bit of Seabot, a bit of whoever's not allowed to do anything else. Yeah, that checks out. Commander, we've got supply trucks in need of help. Let's get trucking. All right, so here's what the supply truck looks like. I see, Pusks. We're on our way, Seabot. And for this first one, we're going to have to eliminate 50 enemies. So we will use our turrets and teddies and anything else we need to use. Move along. Next. Bonus objectives are in play. And we're also going to use some rocket launchers while we're at it. Let's go ahead and use our teddy. Now I have tried this a couple of times already and I ended up failing two times. One time I failed because I died. I was outside of the safe area and ended up dying. And the second time I failed was because our supply truck took too much damage. So you don't want to fail any of your supply trucks. And I'm just now noticing that there is a bonus objective. So if you can rescue the five trucks within that time limit towards the right, you should be able to get a better chest at the end of the mission. And every time you defend a supply truck, you will have to go up to it and update the GPS. So make sure you do that every time you defend it. Anyways, we also have another one right here. 
All right, so for this one, we're going to have to eliminate defending enemies. And I'm not sure how many enemies we have to kill in total. Because they don't tell you. But I think there's like a total of two waves of us that we have to kill. So uh, let's go ahead and try to take them out real quick. Uh, but since you have to rescue a total of five supply trucks and you only have 15 minutes, you're going to want to try to spend no more than three minutes on each truck. And we just used another rocket launcher. So I'm kind of hoping we don't run out of time here. Oh man, that was dangerous what we just did. Uh, fortunately, right now we're inside the safe area. It would be a lot tougher if we were out in the storm so we sort of got lucky right here uh, is that everybody are we still missing some wait I can see some on my map over here but I don't I don't know where they're at one in here And there's one up here. I don't know if this one counts though. This is kind of weird. Was that all of them? Update the truck's GPS. Oh, okay, okay. So we already defended it. We just need to go update it now. Probably just wasted a couple seconds right there. We'll be alright though. Still got 12 minutes. Oh, there's another one over here. That sounds serious. We're on our way. I see the end is near. It is too late. Tell my wife. Oh my goodness, get up here, man. See you later. Don't worry, Can you jump up there or no? Oh man, I can't jump up there. Alright. And I can't oh man, this is rough. For this one we're gonna have to kill a total of fifty enemies. Let's go ahead and use a turret to help us out. Oh man, look at all those husks. And I kind of feel like out of the three different types of supply trucks where you either have to eliminate the the husks that are defending it or like in this example we have to get a total of 50 kills. I kind of feel like those are the two harder ones. There's also another one where all you need is blue glow. We haven't had that one yet but out of the three different types of Supply trucks. I think this one where you have to get 50 kills is going to be the hardest. The area has been secured. And we just got it. Just a few more left. Alright, so there is a supply truck over here, but it's not in the safe area. But we're going to go ahead and try to defend it. Here we go. Wish us luck, people. And for this one, we have to eliminate the defending enemies. So we're going to have to kill two waves of us and I kind of want to use my ability to get my shield back if possible uh, if we need to we will place down some campfires but uh, we do have the survivalist perk so we're gonna try not to place any down unless we absolutely have to but yeah you definitely want to try not to let the supply trucks take too much damage because that can make you fail the mission. Obviously, if you don't rescue all trucks, that can also make you fail the mission. She's another turret. Nope. Oh man, we got one more rocket launcher left. Is that everything? Okay, all right, we got the fourth one done. We just need one more. Not possible. One more left. And let's see if we can see it. I don't see it. Oh, so after you finish defending it, it's going to float up in the air like Lars's van. And I think this is the last one over here. Hopefully the safe area comes over here with us. I'm not sure where it's going at the moment. Hopefully this is one of the blue glow ones. Because the one where you have to put in blue glow is the easiest one. Oh, it is. We'll get you fueled up and ready to fly. Collect blue glow and get ready to launch that truck. Alright, so all we need is just one you blue, don't have glow. Any blue glow. To deposit. 
Let's see, I don't think we actually have to defend this one. Let's update the GPS. Oh, that's it. Trucks are back on course. See you at home base. All right, well, we rescued all five supply trucks. There we go. Bonus challenge success. Good job, team. And we were able to do it within seven minutes playing solo. So this new beta storm is actually not that difficult playing solo. I think for the rest of the time, we're just going to try to survive and stay in the safe area. Heads up, people. But... I really don't feel like there's a need to show the rest of this gameplay since we already rescued all of the supply trucks. Anyways, here's our final combat score. And let's go ahead and check out those rewards before we go. Alright, so we only got a level 2 loot chest. We got 80,000 XP as well as some gold. We also got some more gold as well as some fire up. We also got some amp up. As well as some extra schematic XP and spring tickets. But yeah, that'll do it for this one. Let me know what you think about the new Lost in Transit beta storm mission. Also, let me know which one you all would like to see gameplay of first. Bomb Squad Kyle or the Double Boiler Steampunk Shotgun. Anyways, I hope you all found the video useful and thanks for watching.